Okay guys, um, this is Diane with Rare and Antiquarian Book Finders and this is one of my Patreon videos. I'm going to be starting here with um, a project today that I've been working on um, and it's a 1980s Bible. Part of these pages have, um, you know, fallen out um, and so I'm going to pull that back just a little bit so you can see. Um, and so, um, so we're going to iron these today. And so what it started out with is just some cardboard. This is, happens to be a mailer, but you could use any brown cardboard that's flat, um, just so you have a flat surface. Um, and iron, which is, this is my iron here. And it's, it's a, one of my, it's a small iron. It's one we've had for a while. Um, and so what you end up having to do with these is iron the pages. For that, I have to use, um, I have to use parchment paper, which is just your regular, yep, you guessed it, parchment paper that you bake with. You don't, don't get the waxed version because that will, um, get wax on your pages and you don't want that. But, but parchment paper is great for book repair. It's, there's a lot of uses for it. So we're gonna um, go ahead and just start ironing. Um, I've got the temperature on no steam and it's way low. So you start out at one and usually that will be enough for this real thin paper, enough heat that is. So I'm just putting this on here. And we're just kind of gently going to go over this and try to get it as flat as we can. And if you can always add more heat if you need it, you know. Um, so that's why I like to start at one for the temperature. Okay. Let's see how that, check it, see how it came out. Okay, so there's a little bit of wrinkle there still, so... We're gonna um, turn it over and see if we can go from this angle and make that come out a little better. Seems like there's plenty of heat though. Make sure there's no ridges or anything underneath where you're, um, where you're going with this. Now that came out fairly good. Um, I don't think we need much more heat as far as that goes. But I'm just going to come down here and just try to go along this area here as well. And just to try to get some of those wrinkles out. That looks pretty good. Um, we just don't want, it doesn't have to be perfect, but we just don't want a lot of, like, ridginess on it. So I'm going to put that over here. This one has a tear in it, so I'll have to, um, fix the tear. And it does have a little bit of a page turn that way, so we're going to have to deal with that too. So this one might be a little more obstinate. We just keep checking it. This has, okay, this has a spot too here. like somebody put a little tape in there. Yep. Tape is not your best friend when it comes to this stuff.
hope I'm not out of camera range here. Nope, I'm not. Okay. So, um, yeah, so this is... Now, this helps to, to get it flat so that when you go to um, do the, you know, the archival taping, that it's pretty well together and it's flat and you don't have to worry about... Um, you know, about where you're gonna tape it at and trying to keep it together because it's already been ironed to where it's supposed to be, okay? All right, that's, that's that one. We got it pretty flat and then we just Look at the other pages. If the other pages look okay, you don't have to go through every single one of them. <clears throat> um, I kind of like to just um, go through and just take a look at, you know, where they're going to attach at and make sure that they look okay. These look pretty good here. Um, that has a little bit of a but that's not terrible um, and this looks pretty good so these I'm not going to worry with um, this one could use a little help so we'll, we'll go ahead and try to do that one you can see right here um, it just has it's been crumpled so we're going to do that one um this one, yeah, probably need to do that one. Yeah. I just usually try to pull this up and get it as good as I can. Yeah, here's another one that needs it. So you kind of get the drift, like, <clears throat> if there's, um, if they don't look too bad, just leave well enough alone. And these look pretty good. So these are fine. Um, now I will have to go back and put the pages in their proper order. Um, so, you know, that's another thing you got to remember is don't put them back in the wrong order because that's, that won't be good. <laughs> Especially with a Bible, it would be pretty confusing. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so... We're just going to go back over it. Sorry, my throat is kind of giving out. My allergies are back in full force. Okay. Now, I hope you're getting the drift. Of, I might be going out of camera range a little bit. Hopefully not, but... These are going to be fine. This one, I think we might have to start this way and try to pull those out a little bit. Just trying to make sure I'm in camera range here. Yeah, because these are curled up on the edges, so... I'm going to have to, hopefully that will come out. curl. They really want to curl at the top. <laughs> oh dear. So even sometimes I even have to take like a, a weight of some sort and try to just stick it down if they really want to curl. Which sometimes they do. Alright, so that will be over here. 
It's looking good. I hope you get the drift of what I'm trying to accomplish here. kind of tell here like this has a couple different things going on there's two ridges and then there's one that's curled over and and sometimes it's hard if you don't have a fingernail you gotta have a tool to pull that back over which thankfully my fingernails are working That turned out actually really good. Let's see if this part this part still looks a little bit off down here. Now this may be a flaw from the publisher because I'm seeing now that I'm in here looking at it closer, I'm seeing that there was, is some ink that has gone, if you look at in a dream here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a, there's a mark here from the O, and um, I think that's probably from the publisher. They just, it's just a mistake when they, when they printed it, or the printer, if you want to call it the printer, but, um, and a lot of times you'll see that when you work with books a lot. Now I've got this on low enough now that I, I feel pretty confident that it's not going to hurt anything. And low is really all you need. You really don't need that much heat on it. Okay, that looks good. It's a lot better. All right, well, that's my ironing video, basically. Um, I'll go back and do these edges here. And I'll, what I'll do also, and I'll show you this in another video, is I'll go back with the archival tape and put these back um, the way they were and, and sort of reinforce these with the tape. And that will give them just a little more support these flimsy paper corners that, you know, I I understand that they had to use cheap paper to be able to afford to print a Bible, but um, but really, I mean, they just, they just don't last very long. So I'll go back with archival tape and put that, put that on there to support those pages. Um, and I do use archival tape, and I don't apologize for it. There's a lot of people that don't like it. They want Japanese paper. But honestly, I feel like Japanese paper is, if you have to pull that tape off, it's a lot harder to get Japanese paper off than it is uh, archival tape. Because archival tape is exactly what it's named. It, it's archival, and it you can get it off of there if you need to do something else to the document or the book or whatever you're working on. So, um, and uh, I don't have anything against Japanese paper. If you wanna use it for something that's super valuable and um, it's gonna be there, you know, you're trying to preserve it, that's fine. Um, but for something like this, Japanese paper doesn't make any sense. And I'll go through, as we go through and you um, get to see my videos on Patreon, I'll explain what Japanese paper is and what it's used for and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so this is, I mean, this is just something that 
um, you can just go right over that with a low iron and just make sure that your iron doesn't have a bunch of stuff on the bottom of it uh, that would get on your paper, you know, because you don't want that. But I, if you're, if you have anything very fragile, you really need the parchment paper over it. That's why I used parchment to begin with because I wasn't familiar with this Bible and every one of them is different. I mean, as far as things that will happen to it and stuff, so. So there you go, that's my, that is my uh, video for ironing pages. And now the next video in this book repair will be showing you how I put, um, I put my, uh, I, I, well, I'm going to be taping these, not taping, but um, gluing these to the inside of the Bible eventually. But before I do that, I have to build up the spine in order for these to, to adhere to it. So, um, so the next video will be building up the spine um, in order to get these pages that I just ironed to um, adhere to it. So anyway, uh, so sorry you had to look at my hands the whole time, but I haven't figured out how to switch my phone back and forth to me versus what I'm doing here for the detailed videos. So alrighty, well, thank you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like it, um, go ahead and um, yeah, let me know that you like it. I don't know if liking and subscribing will help with this YouTube channel or not because some of them will be private and some of them will be public. So, okay, thank you. Bye.